Hey guys, this is Pre from Voltech and today I'm going to show you some tips and tricks regarding the new Lollipop version 5.0 released by Google this month. So let us start with the smart lock feature that's been added. So first go to the settings. In this go to security. Now for enabling smart lock it is necessary that you have a screen lock enabled in the form of pattern, pin or password. So at the moment I have a screen lock enabled in the form of pattern. So now I can go to smart lock. It will ask for the pin, password or pattern that you have enabled. So now it has got three options. Trusted devices, trusted places and trusted face. Trusted devices is like if you have an Android smartwatch and you have hearing it. So you can put that watch as trusted device so whenever it will come under bluetooth connection of with the mobile the mobile will itself get unlocked and it will no not ask for a password from you trusted places is like suppose you uh, choose as home as your trusted place so whenever you are at your home it won't ask for a password trusted face is uh, like whenever you have you hold your phone in front of your face it will detect your face without any extra screen coming on you won't even get to know that it is having any scanning going on it will just detect your face and it won't ask for password when you unlock it this is a really cool feature which I have unlocked uh, on this device and I really like this feature uh, it has no hassles it is pretty quick within a couple of seconds it just scans and unlocks the device and it is usually successful with pretty low failure rate so this is about smart lock so now let's come to encryption. Encryption is another security feature that's been added on lo with Lollipop. So going into security, you get this option over here to encrypt your phone. So what this does is all the data that is there on your device gets encrypted. And uh, whenever you switch on your device, it needs, it asks for a password. Uh, when you enter the password, after that, the data gets decrypted. So it uh, does secure your data to quite some extent and whenever a person without your permission who will try to get into your device uh, the this feature will automatically delete all the data that's been put into the device so it's a really good privacy feature and it can ensure to quite some extent that your data is not shared without your permission but it does take quite a lot of time to encrypt the device and you should have a high battery percentage like at the moment it's uh, says that I need to plug in my charger and try again so that it can encrypt it takes about an hour and a hour and a half to encrypt uh, the data completely. So these are the first two features that I wanted to discuss. The third one is the notification toggle. As you all must have known by now that the notification panel has been completely changed in the Lollipop version. They have enabled this toggle feature which was not there earlier in the KitKat. So it gives you an easy and quick access to various things that you want. The good thing about this feature is suppose you use a particular feature uh, from the settings it automatically adds that in the notification panel. So recently I made my device a portable hotspot so you can see that it's been added over here as a new feature so that it gives me an easy access later on. So the problem with this feature is that uh, if you are using a lot of different things from the settings a lot of toggles get added into this panel which makes this panel longer and really unnecessary so uh, a lot of times people face this problem that they are not able to remove these toggles so they don't know how to do that I'm going to give you an example for that first of all I'm going to uh, add a toggle to it of invert colors so I'll go to accessibility and I will enable color inversion as you can see the color inversion toggle has been added right here invert colors so now you can see that it has made a my, made my notification a uh, panel a bit longer and really unnecessary because I won't be using invert colors for quite a long time. So now I want to disable this feature. For doing it, go back to settings, go to date and time and disable automatic date and time from here. After that, go to set date and set a date of exactly one month or more before of the current date. So today is 5th December. I will set the date as 5th November. Then select OK and then go back. Now again enable invert colors. Disable it again. Now go back to settings. 
date and time and now enable automatic date and time and now you see the notification panel invert color option is no more there so this is a really nice feature okay so the uh, fourth feature I'm going to discuss today is the user option that's been added in lollipop so now you can select users just like you select in computer so you, when you click here you get the option of selecting uh, a guest user so suppose I don't want my personal data to be shared by someone who wants to use my device so I'll just select a, uh, it as guest feature it will switch it to guest and no my and none of my personal data will be shared with that person although that person can make calls and do messaging or some other things but none of my personal apps or personal data will be shared with that person also if that person tries to go back to my user so if he selects to the original owner it will ask for the password before uh, he can uh, access any of the data that's been stored on that user so now coming to the silent so many uh, times many people have uh, asked me how to silent the new lollipop because whenever you go to the volume rockers you get the option for getting a ring or you get the option for vibration but there is no as such explicitly stated option to get a silent so what you need to do for that is you can either set it as priority or as none so when you set it as none all the calls or messages that you get are actually silent uh, they do not ring or vibrate or you can also go for priority which says that uh, any contact that you have selected as a, a favorite only the those contacts will vibrate or ring as per your uh, settings and all the other interruptions will be silent so simply if you want to silent your device all you need to do is select none from here you can select as indefinitely that you want it to be silent till the time you don't uh, change it back or you can also set a timers like for suppose I want it to be silent for an hour or two you can increase or decrease from here so this is about silent now I will show you the easter egg that's been added with lollipop to access the easter egg you need to go to settings you go to about phone and then you click on android version multiple times then you get this click on, click on it 2-3 times and then long press and you enable it and you can just play this game it's a really nice time pass it doesn't consume a lot of battery so it's bat battery friendly and it's a complete time pass so this is another good feature that's been added okay so many people have also complained regarding the lag that they have observed after get after doing the OTA update so the basic thing that I can suggest to such people is that you should factor reset your device so that the lag can be removed because a lot of time it happens that when you get an OTA update due to the data stored on your mobile the update is not done properly so a factor reset will 90% uh, of the times help you in removing the lag that you are getting on your device also now I will also tell you about a new feature which is screen pinning so for enabling that you need to go into settings then security then at the end you will get this option of screen pinning turn it on so what this uh, screen pinning helps you do is that like suppose I have a app Facebook then I also have my WhatsApp open and I also have Play Store open so now I want a particular App, uh, app to be pinned to the screen suppose I want Facebook to be pinned to the screen so what I do is I go here I click on this small circle that you can see at the corner this starts this pinning so now whatever I do to exit oh it's not been enabled so now the screen pinning has started so now I cannot exit this app with any normal method so uh, this is useful if you this is useful if you want to like if you are doing some particular work but you don't want to exit that screen many a times it happens that we by mistake click our uh, click some buttons from our finger so that can at a lot of times create problem so at that moment this option is really useful to unpin the screen what you need to do is you need to click the arrow and the square button together and this has unpinned the screen so this is also another feature that I wanted to share with you all 
Now another thing which is not a very prominent thing but I still wanted to share is that you get a search icon over here so you can search anything that you want inside the settings you need not keep finding uh, where a particular thing is like suppose I want to search screen pinning I'll just write here screen and I'll get the option of screen pinning right here so I need not keep on searching okay. each and every tab for finding that option uh, also many people have still complained about some battery lags that they have observed on this uh, that battery lag uh, that battery drain rather I should say the battery drain can be solved by disabling the Google now at the moment we do expect a early release of Google of uh, Android 5.0.1 because of the high number of lags and bugs that people have observed and complained about till then for uh, stopping battery drainage all you can do is disable google now that is one of the most prominent uh, battery sucker that is that is there on lollipop so that's about it that is all that i wanted to share about this this is a tips and tricks video if you liked it feel free to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up thank you